Welcome to the Eat Audio. Release your wolf. Ah, uh, look at the state of this city. Full of gangs, corrupt politicians with clean smiles, dirty cops, poor families. Hard-working men and women just trying to get by. I never would have thought in a million years that the city I grew up in, the vibrant, colorful city I fell in love with, would turn so lifeless and gray. But uh, I guess that's what going through five dawn bosses in ten years will do to a city. Hmm. That first year when the old Don was killed, the city just went into chaos. Multiple crime families, all fighting each other. Killing in the streets just to be the one on top. Hmm. So many innocent people died. I went to more funerals than birthdays on that first year. Not a single Don lasted long though. Ten years is a long time for a city to be at war. Hell, the cops didn't even help much. They were all dirty. If you had money, they could be bought. Even our mayor was in debt with the mob. Well, the boy had his brains blown out, that is. Sometimes I wonder, what would happen if the first dawn didn't die? How many people would still be alive today? Hell, what would have happened if the cops weren't just full of dirty cops? Maybe cops who actually wanted to protect and serve, help the city and its people. Ah, who am I to judge? <laughs> Aren't I and the mob just like the rest of these poor schmucks? We all have the same story. Coming up from a poor family. School isn't paying the bills. No father figure to be seen. Salary low and rent is high. How a landlord can keep a straight face while they charge so much for a rat's nest is criminal. It's just criminal. It's far worse than whatever a Don Boss does or the mob. I can still remember when our current Don found me out hot wiring his henchman's car. <laughs> ah, how was I to know it belonged to a member of the mob? But he wasn't mad, though. He was impressed with how fast I hot wired it. So much so, he hovered me a job. Before him, I was a pretty decent pickpocket. I only stole from the high class broads and businessmen, you know. People who, you know, could afford for a nice watch to go missing. Moving boxes at the docks brought in some money too. But I never liked the way the harbor master would look at me and gave me the creeps. It was a good thing that Don picked me up when he did. Two months after I started working for the Don, that harbor master was arrested for a string of gruesome murders. Huh. <sighs> you know, if I think about it, I owe the Don my life, and I swear, one day I'll pay him back for everything he's done for me. So I rose through the ranks pretty well, sold some of the boss's merchandise, then I was moved on to collecting the protection fees for the east side of the city. You know, roughing up business owners who don't like paying their debts to the Don. Now, I work in information. Some might say it's just as dangerous as being a knife fight. Words have uh, become more deadly than a bullet. Whisper something in the right ear and the whole city could fall. Like the Don hearing that one of his men was kissing his daughter two weeks back. Hell, it's not that I knew she was the boss's daughter. She didn't know I worked for her father. I totally understand her anger though. It must.
must have looked bad. Like I was using her to rise through the ranks. I know a couple guys that have thought about dating one of the higher-up's daughters just to get a better position. Beautiful girl and a promotion. Many wouldn't say no. It's just too bad she won't see me and let me explain that when I walked up to her, I didn't see a one-way ticket to power. I just saw a beautiful woman I wanted to get to know. Turned out, we had a lot in common and the sparks were flying. Ah, man. Oh, we could have burned that club down with our fire. Anyways, we'd sneak away, share a few kisses. Then the dawn called me. When I picked up the phone, she recognized her old man's voice. Soon as I hung up the phone, my purring kitten was hissing at me. Maybe if I could talk to her, she would understand. I don't know, by the look in her eyes, I would say someone has used her before. Man, it is hard, real hard to fight against a person's past. Ah, I know I should just forget her. But what man in their right mind could forget a lady like her? When she smiled at me for the first time, I felt lightheaded. Ah. I'm in a bad way for her. Next time I can get her alone, I'm going to try and talk to her. I need to get my head in the game, though. (sighs) Man, I need to meet back up with the Don and let him know what I found out today. There are some strange things happening at night around the nightclub district. People waking up with strange marks on their body. Uh, Maybe we have a new serial killer who marks their victims. Hmm. Don's gonna want to know. Of all the things that creep the boss out at serial killers, I guess because they go over the line, even the boss won't. Well, uh, here we are. Damn, there she is. God. Just as beautiful as when I last saw her. Hey, doll, you got a minute? Hey, come on, doll, come back. Talk to me. Come on, baby. Come on, wait up. 